Hi, I'm Jonathan Anderson from Anderson Couture and you're watching Soy Fabulous TV. I'm Angelica Kenton and we're here with Jonathan Anderson, the designer of Anderson Couture. We're in the fashion district today. Where did Anderson Couture begin? I started selling when I was like seven. My grandma was raising me with my mom and I was kind of hyper and every time I was in the house she was sewing or making stuff so she was like before you start messing with the needles and cutting yourself I'm gonna teach you how to sew and that's how it all started. Tell us about some of the people that you've dressed. Well I've been lucky to dress Judy Torres, Alison Nottingham, Miss Ohio Latina. It's been like a very exciting year. In New York City, I came on a plane and got dressed by Mr. Jonathan Anderson for Anderson Couture. Talk to us a little bit about this piece, Jonathan. When you told me about the interview, I wanted to make something original for you. And I'm already working on my uh, spring collection. I saw that when I was looking at your pictures, you have some really cool brown eyes and you're kind of sophisticated when I say wild side to you and kind of rock and roll. So I kind of designed around your personality. <laughs> Talk to me about the type of woman that you like to design for. I like to design for real women. I tend to design for women who are strong, sophisticated, go-getters. My inspiration are Latina women because I think the Latina woman is very go-getter. She keeps her femininity at the same time. And I think that's a very important quality that women have. And I like to dress a woman who is assured of herself. She's not a woman who likes to blend in. She's a woman who likes to stand out and she's confident in her strength and what she does and I don't know, that's my ideal, that's the woman I marry myself, so <laughs> I tend to design around that type and I love curves, I mean, I'm a Latino, so <laughs> the more baba boom she got, the better for me. So. I want to talk a little bit about Jonathan Anderson, the person about your master's degree, which he's very educated, guys. <laughs> well, I'm working on my master's degree right now to the University of San Francisco. Before that, I studied the art of couture, I had two years. And then I independently studied the sartorial method, which is an Italian method to basically teaching how to do tailoring and really cool stuff. What I tell my clients, if I drew it, I could make it. And that's, that's very important for me. I wanted to be able to dress the person. I didn't want to be just somebody who takes a mannequin and makes it pretty. I'm very conscientious like what type of body the person has, where that person's gonna be going to, what do they need to wear, how, what would make them look better. So I'm very much into the person. I'm a person kind of designer rather than just an artist. What can you give them as a tip as a designer? Like the one true tip of a designer? The one true tip of a designer, educate yourself. Just because you are a person with good ideas doesn't make you a designer. There's a lot going on into the work of designing. You have to learn not just drawing or having good ideas. You have to learn about the textiles. You have to learn about the body. You have to learn about pattern making, draping. So many things that come in the scale. Be a complete designer. There's too many people who just want to be coming out with good ideas and dressing somebody. And there's not enough designers out there who know how to be inventive and creative because they just don't have the tools for it. What does fabulous mean to you? I think the most beautiful thing that a woman can have is being confident and liking yourself. Watching Sword Famous TV.